Friday. Friday. It's Friday. here. Hot boy Shane, the cannibal gypsy himself, Mike G. Hi. Back for another Hello. horror movie review. We are doing the sequel today of our very first movie we reviewed on this podcast way back when. We are doing Camp Blood 2. Yeah. Excited. Are you excited? Sure. Okay. You know what I'm excited about? What are you excited about? I figure since this is the return. What are you doing? Of like a sequel to the first movie we ever reviewed, we would return. What are you doing? To right? SNN! Breaking news! End of extra food aid will drive folks to the emergency room just to get a meal. Let's do it. Wait, can yep. you say that without that stupid voice real quick? <laughs> no! Princess of Wales climbs tree in new family photo celebrating Mother's Day. Brian, real quick. Shane, move. I'm trying to talk to Brian. Let's be serious. I'm trying to talk That's to great. Brian. Yep. GNN was better. I want. Can I tell you why? Why? I broadcast the story, and then we elaborate on it. We talk about it. <laughs> we were fine. That's what news is about. That's what being a, a broadcaster is. Shane reads one story, doesn't say a word about it, doesn't pose a question to either of us, and moves on to the next story. <laughs> He's just like reading the headlines. <laughs> Breaking news! Chick-fil-A customers and Starbucks customers have something in common. They're both going to hate this. Hate what? <laughs> See, this is where we should talk about. Are they it. raising prices? Or are they? Is the chicken? <laughs> are they yeah, killing yeah. chickens on site? Our star. I got read the Our Starbucks going back to those stupid hold on, red hold cups. On. One, one of my employees wrote this one. I got. I got to read the article to figure it out. Um, let's see here. Looks like something to do with like the rewards memberships and like the prices are going up to cash in on the rewards looks like a whole hubbub oh a hubbub. it's a whole to do yeah what companies were those starbucks and chick-fil-a they don't make enough money so no wait, they don't they're both struggling is, a lot. i'm assuming starbucks is bigger than dunkin donuts yes it i'm is? gonna say yeah, yeah. yeah. even yeah. though like you can't like miss you throw miss. a rock and not hit a dunkin yeah donuts. It's, true. it's true it's true any Dunk store so you used to like is now a Dunkin' Donuts. So Dunkin' Donuts, I've been really into their iced French vanilla coffee. It really has been hitting lately. You've been into that for fucking ever. Yeah, but it's I, not new. Well, no, no, because I went through the, the the frozen coffee phase where I was getting a oh. French vanilla frozen. I've now right. moved to just iced. Okay. Yeah. So. I love Dunkin' Donuts. I just think that Starbucks costs double what Dunkin' Donuts costs. It's sick. So that's why the sales sick, are higher, yeah. I would assume. I like it, though. You gotta. What? It's Starbucks. So Starbucks has this breakfast sandwich I've been really into. It's a double smoked bacon and cheddar cheese sandwich. Whoa. It's really good. But we're not here talking about this, right? Like no. we're talking about Camp Blood. Okay, so Camp Blood Whoa. 2. This movie is going to rehash a lot of the first movie. Essentially, what this movie is about is there's a director who wants to make a film based off the events of the first movie, and it's fresh. I think like this is the literally like a year she after. She says one year. Yeah. One year after. Um, he's like, can't, can't, the guy's like, I'm surprised they haven't even done something earlier. So I want to get it right away. But just like, dude, it's been like, like one year. Should've, I should have got you when your wounds were fresh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> She's still like suffering. He's like, I should have got you the day after. So yeah, oh, it's insane. God. So the main character, she is, I'm going to get her name in a second. Her name is Trisha. She is institutionalized. Um, the director is talking to her about getting her out to film this. She is hesitant and doesn't want to relive her trauma, but it does get her out of the institution. Ultimately, she does agree. They go back to that scene I talked about in our review of the first one where she's like, it's the clown, the clown. You have to watch out Harris, for the clown. The clown. Yeah. Harris, Harris was the clown. This movie is like, what would you say? 30% like flashbacks? Yes. Hey, I felt like I was watching Silent Night, Deadly Night too. Yeah, there was a lot of flashbacks. Is that the one where the first like 40 minutes <laughs> this is, is the, first, the first, movie. first movie? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like, the, now she's going to meet, uh, he's casting. The, yep. And oh my God, the, the the degenerates this guy cast in his film so far. He got the guy who's playing the clown <laughs> is this drunk. It's a drunk named Shemp or Shemp, Shemp, and I'm pretty sure he just creeps on all like he oh does, he yeah. creeps on Trisha constantly. Can I fucking say something? Uh, no, okay, <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, go. Oh, let's move on. No, say it. I'm kidding. Um, we've been a lot of movies recently. We've been <laughs> these like dudes fucking taking pictures of. Naked dead girls, upskirts. 
I, yeah. I get it. Titties, butt cheeks, that's great. I love it. Love all of it. We all do. Yeah, who doesn't? You want to know what makes that stuff like a million times better? Consent? Consent. <laughs> Shane <laughs> loves tits, though. I fucking love you're such tits. A, you're such a tit guy. But I agree with your point. I hated the guy that plays the, the rip-off clown. Oh, Sh- Shemp? Out of all yeah. these, like, creeps and, like, whatever we've been talking about, like, he's probably, he probably takes the cake out of the world. He takes the cake and fucks the cake without the cake's consent. Yeah, well, he's just a total, al- <laughs> he's, an, he's an alcoholic degenerate. He really is. He's easily the worst part of this movie. Can we, can we also, though, talk about the line reading they do for the audition? She's like, oh, no, the clown is coming. What do we do? The clown is coming. Clown. He goes, you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> gives her like, literally wait doesn't yeah. he like he's like ah, i don't know if you're a fit because she does a really bad scream yeah. and then he just like ultimately like let me get that in a different read and then he hires her. hires her it's sick and while this is going on trisha meets the girl the blonde girl outside i forgot her name i think it's amber amber that sounds right adrian adrian we were so close it was a nay yeah and adrian's like I, trisha like really likes her right away she's like oh yeah you should try you'll get the part she walks in he's like nah it's been casted already yeah, because he casted the other girl. He casted the first girl he saw. This was a terrible job all around. The director is just absolutely terrible. He films everything on a camcorder. I hated him too. When they eventually, I the director was kind of funny. When they eventually no. get to the woods area, um, and this is just you know just skipping past all the creepiness that Shemp does with Trisha, they get to the area. They do bring on this PA guy, uh, Patrick. Yeah, who just comes in, just like what a fucking quote-unquote clown this guy is yeah. dude like he has no idea what's going on he doesn't have the equipment with him he doesn't even know he's there he gets upset that he has to bring the equipment he's like a fucking pothead he gets upset that these people don't have food to eat <laughs> and then he does this like almost like weird like tries to fight the director it's so bad the, we he, we do have to talk about the thing though before they're in the woods because the girl he hires right yeah gets killed yeah she gets killed. she's in the shower so she's in the shower completely naked. Like, you see pretty much everything. Everything. And she gets stabbed in her kitchen, killed. And then because the lead actress doesn't show up, that's why he hires Adrian to yeah. go in to replace her. As a Correct. refill. Very important storyline. point. It's this interesting movies. because like the way that it shakes out, because Trish is the one that calls Adrian back. Yes. It's so stupid. But it happens. And now, yeah. So you can keep talking about I mean, Patrick because no, he's fascinating. And then Patrick has to go. Like Patrick's the first person to die, right? Yeah. He, well, besides, besides the her, girl, because he, he basically he's gonna go back, but he's like walks two steps and is like tired and wants to like smoke weed or something. Yeah. So he sits on a tree branch <laughs> and like a like a log. Yeah. And is just like immediately killed. Yeah, he's uh, he was a use like that character never needed to exist. No, absolutely not. It's almost like GNN. Like, why did it exist? Why do you it sn- needed to be snuffed out. Snuffed out. Seeing this right now? Mike, what are you doing? You seeing it? Mike. It's happening. You can't just like... I could do whatever I want. You could, technically. You yes. are a big boy. But yeah, he, he useless. And then they're trying to like... The director's trying to like shoot everything. Yes. And then I know that the one girl is mentioning how... Well, first of all, the the one guy is constantly hitting on the one girl. It's quite pathetic. It's really pathetic. But they are uncomfortable with a drunken shemp wielding a machete as the clown. Which, to be fair, I would be too. So they have him, and this is so dumb, the director, like, he talks about, like, realism and integrity because, yeah. like, Trisha was just like, oh, I can't believe we're going back to the site where I was. Yeah. But So realism and integrity he talks about. Then he decides to take the machete away from his actor. Yes. And have the clown... Punch the girl in the face? Yes. So stupid. But then again, he literally punches her because he's so drunk. Yes. Knocks her out pretty much. Knocks her cold. Yep. Also, I know we talked about the guy hitting on her being pathetic. Doesn't it eventually work? Oh, yeah. They have sex. Yeah, they have sex. For like five seconds. In the middle. He comes in oh, the tent. Oh, he does come in five seconds. Yeah. He comes in, in the middle of the night into the tent, kicks the other guy out. They bang for five seconds, and then she kicks him out of the tent. Yep. And then he literally gets killed at that point. Yeah. Also, you brought this up off camera. Trisha would never be allowed to leave no. the asylum in the first place. Especially to film a movie. The the people there aren't like, ah, she's wanted by the state for potential murder. You could take her so for also not a, This right. is definitely not a studio film. This is literally just... It's so indie. So funny. The director is like, he brings up 
because he's like wants a cash cow movie. He brings up Blair Witch. He said that made movie is it true? Hundred thirty million. Yeah, Blair Witch. Like I thought gross, it became like, like popular like years later. No, I thought Blair Witch did do like a. Let's I see. I know. I think the budget was really small. On yeah, that. I know it they made did a killing for all the budget. Guerrilla marketing, and it did make a lot because everybody did think it was real. Um, I also like the style of the movie. That's just me, but. Well, yeah, you everyone can't. knows my opinion on that movie. So, yeah, what was your opinion? You didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. I just wasn't. I wasn't a huge fan of it. But it is a lot of whining. Yeah. All right, Blair Witch Project uh, box office. Let's see. I it remember, made. I think I want okay. To see how much did he say it made at the I box think office? One thirty. He was way off. More. Two hundred forty-eight million. Jesus Christ, dude. And how much did they put into it? Uh, uh, I'm going to look that up real quick because I do have to change our budget. Let's see. Uh, the budget. I don't think it had a high budget at all. $60,000. Oh, my wow. God. That has to be one of the biggest like disparities. Like yeah, that, that, yeah, that is an amazing uh, return on investment <laughs> yeah. for fucking sure. I mean, they only cast it three people, right? Yeah. And maybe some others that they just like took. Didn't they just find locals, though, for like the earlier scenes? Yeah. yeah. I, hope the, I hope they got like royalties and shit. Oh, well, so that's the thing. You either take royalties or you get a, a pay, like a flat fee. Right. It's weird though because like if you think the movie's gonna suck, you take the flat fee. <laughs> yeah. Because then so I feel like that happened to someone. Someone took the royalty version and it made them like a multi-millionaire yeah. off one movie. And I can't remember off the top of my head who it was, but it doesn't matter now. Let's talk about let's talk about the the next couple of deaths in Camp Blood because they wake up the next day and the guy's missing. So he's like, "Oh, my actors are all running away." Yeah, I think they're missing two people. Right? They're missing. Um, they're missing. The two people that were canoodling. Oh, well, we have the girl die. We didn't mention that. Uh, yeah, so she gets stabbed like through her fucking face. That's right. Which this was is the, the best kill of the that movie. That was easily the best kill of the movie. She gets stabbed through the face. The other guy, uh, is his throat cut? It's throat is, cut. Yeah, okay, it's yeah. a throat cut. And yeah, because yeah, you actually, seeing the, the like the knife machete way cut through the back of her head and see it in the hair, I thought was a really cool yeah, shot. Yeah, that was a cool kill. That's and, what the Campbell movies have though. There's no substance with some decent kills. Yeah, but like if you remember the first movie, that clown was like a fucking joke. It would just like miss oh, and, and a charm to it. They try to make it a little bit more cerebral. Like this yeah. clown with the clown mask was totally different. Well, because it was Harris, it was the clown. Do you like before all these kills happen, they have the campfire where she was just like one year ago today yeah. at this very campfire. Harris was <laughs> the clown. It's so ridiculous. And then they show more. Flashback scenes because yes. we haven't gotten enough already. I mean, like the whole premise is if you don't know the idea, it's just like she experiences. She mentioned that their their camp guide Harris was the killer, but um, the way that they filmed this, everyone's dead and she's the only one left. So it's like she made all the murders yeah. and she's gone crazy. Yes, because a lot of them think she killed everyone. They're like we're camping with a murder. So when people start going missing, if I was a survivor, I'd be like, "Yo, Trisha killing some people. I think I'm gonna dip." They and no, I think one person, I think it's the other guy. The guy in the white t-shirt. Yes. He's the guy that thinks she's the yeah. killer. So doesn't he run off? He does. He runs away. I mean, they do They do like a little bit of a split though. So like what they do is they have Trisha, because um, this whole like filming is just a total flop. Yeah, it's point. over. Like everyone, the people are missing. So it's like Trisha, Adrian, and... Uh, that guy go on a separate path. Yeah. They take him down to meet up with Shemp and uh, the director. The director. And now they start just getting killed though, one by one, right? But yeah. So I know that Shemp ends up getting killed. He takes two bottle stabs to his eyes. To his uh, eyes, yeah. yeah. And then the director also so deserved, by the way, gets killed. Yeah. I forgot how the director dies. He also might. He might just be like a. Gen I don't think he was. was special. he an off screen? I don't remember I, him dying. I think he was stabbed. I don't think huh. he was special. Yeah. Uh, the one guy, the guy in the white shirt dies at the river. He gets like, because I remember seeing the blood flow he, from the like river. He's like kind of running away because he's thinking she's yeah. the killer. And almost at this point, I'm almost thinking she's the killer. So was Honestly, I. Like I'm watching this. I'm like, it's definitely, yeah. definitely her. And then you realize like at, at, there's a point where in time where you're like, okay, well, it, it literally has to be one person. Yes, because 
Trisha is the one who keeps finding the bodies. Yeah, she's and just, the other person has disappeared for oh. like ten minutes. So like, there's a point where they're leaving, and she has to, she goes back because she doesn't want to yeah. leave them too. Yeah, and they die by the time anyway. But then she goes back, and then um, at that point, I'm like, when people are dying and she's not there, like she's the killer. Yeah, absolutely. But so we get the big reveal. Shocker, Adrian's the killer, and she's like, Harris was my sister. And you killed her. Um, that's it. <laughs> so Harris was Adrian's sister, and she's getting revenge. Yes, because she actually does think that Trisha was the clown. Yep, and she's like, nope, um, it was your sister. She killed everybody. So now you and your sister are both clowns. She's like, crazy runs in the family. <sighs> yep. It's bad. And uh, she survives a... Uh, oh, she fucking kills her bad. Uh, yeah. fucking... She burns her, right? Yeah, like she, she did burns her. She fucking burns herself. Yeah. Like, didn't didn't it seem like, like Adrian, like, was trying to light her on fire and just, like, burned herself? Herself, yeah. So she, like, goes into the tent. The tent, like, literally lights and flames in a matter of 0.2 milliseconds. She's a little <laughs> burned corpse. Then Trisha's trying She's to She's not a burned corpse because the best part is there's no body. No body. Trisha's, like, getting ready to leave and then she's attacked by yeah. the burned. Good, yeah. Adrian, they fight, and then I think she stabs her about 142 times. Yeah, she yeah. just keeps stabbing her. And that's it. And then she has to try to explain this again. Yep. This well, ain't going to go well for her. Well, that doesn't take her out fully at that point because she hands her. Yeah. The mask. The clown I mask. I forgot about that. She takes the clown mask. She I don't, takes the clown mask, runs away. So two things. Do you think that over. this was like real? So this, Do you think this is real in the sense of like, um, Adrian was the killer avenging her, avenging her sister or do you think again in a weird way that like Trisha thought all of this in her head in her head but when like transference of the mask it's just like she always had it right anyway if that makes I, sense I think truthfully that Adrian was the killer and that she was avenging her sister's death but I do think do you think that she was the killer in the first one? I do. I think why I is think, why is Trisha I, taking the mask? You think she, I think she's gonna become the killer in the third one. Oh, uh, okay. Because like, why would she grab into the woods? Is oh, that what it's I, called? Don't you or look, within the woods? Within the, the woods. woods. Within the woods was the plot. Is that the name of the actual movie? I think it's within the woods. Because within the woods is the name of the movie that the director's writing in this movie. I'm almost positive. Oh, Camp Blood yeah, Three is called Within cool. the Woods. Yeah, like he's casting for Within the Woods. Why? Yeah, because like, why would Trisha take something that's if she wasn't the killer, caused her yeah tons of trauma. That's yeah, why yeah. Camp Light Three is literally called Within the Woods. So if and if Trisha is the killer in the first movie, and you know they have this stupid backstory of like that Harris was mad because she walked in on her yeah. lover with another guy. Yeah, that was the whole story, and then she killed them. So then that would just be like an irrelevant plot that. Like, right. <laughs> that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. I think what Shane said might be true. Maybe she's in the third one. She's the killer. I don't think she's in it. I think this was, Damn. I think Camp Blood 2 was the last one she was in. The main character? Trisha, yeah. So, it, it, and then I'm trying to think then, like, if I'm trying to really rationalize it, because that's what we do in the show. We try to make, oh, yeah. We, yeah. we really try to figure oh, this yeah. shit out, even though some stuff is just not meant to be thought of in a way um, that should be have any deep reflection whatsoever. I can tell you this. Trisha is from New Jersey. Really? Can't blood, but I think was filmed in New Jersey. No. Yeah. She's from Glen Ridge, New Jersey. Wow. It's probably the best. Where's that in New at? Jersey. And like coordinates to, I'm not sure. Is that near Glen Rock. Probably. I don't know. I'm going to look it up, but it's like Ridge yeah, she was all, Trisha was only in camp blood one and two, sadly. So she does not reprise her role anymore. So, ah, ah, but then like, so Harris, those people were definitely missing and dead. Those yes. Two people. So yeah. then if like Harris didn't kill, who killed those people? I think Harris they, killed them. I think Harris killed them in the first and Adrian killed them in the second and that Trisha is just being blamed both times. So she's or, just an innocent party. Yes. Or you can say that Harris just surely just killed these people in general in the woods and Trisha still committed the murders. Also very possible. Very possible. Very oh. possible. I think we're looking too deep into this movie. It's the best part. It's because like the plot is just so like loosey goosey. It's like Shane Seven, Jack and Coke's in. 
You don't yeah, know what you're going to get. You from just him, get loosey goosey. You're going to get a good story. Glen Ridge is in between Bloomfield and Montclair. Yeah, I knew it was like somewhere huh? close. Uh, yeah. This makes me really want to review, like Camp Blood Three. Yeah. <sighs> me too. Actually, <laughs> we'll get to it. I think I think it's coming up sooner rather than later. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's going up sooner rather than later. You gotta space these movies out, though. Mm. I don't think it's good for us. It's not good for anybody. It's actually, <laughs> I actually think we're doing it soon. God damn it! Well, yeah. I, have, I have no say here. I'm just you a, actually don't. I'm just a trophy boyfriend. Well, so this is the thing. I'm always like, hey, Mike, you got any input on the next movies we could do? And you're like, no. Well, I start looking at Tubi, and you and Briar are in the corner. Uh, hatching? Like, are, you, are you using the word hatching? We're hatching something? Yeah. yeah, you're hatching up plans. You have fucking final pod planned for like the next 15 years. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? Uh, and then I throw something out and then get what, shot down. Do you also love that me and Brian book you on final pod episodes four weeks in advance but tell you a week before? I love it. <laughs> it's great. Good, good. I also like have not, not having to do like... Because if I like pitch a movie... What if you guys don't like it? What that happens all the time. You know how many bad movies me and Brian have pitched to each other? That's true. We watched Slaw. We did watch Slaw. True. I still haven't forgiven you for that. <laughs> I don't think we forgive ourselves. That's that that's Camp Blood. Yes, too. it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um let's just thumbs up or thumbs down it. Four, three, two, one. I can't in good faith ever thumbs down a Camp Blood movie. <laughs> Fucking insane. You sound like me right now. Like, uh, here's the thing. Hear me out, right? You have to take it as a whole. Um, I'm going to thumbs up this one because I know there's going to be a streak of five through six, which are the, I swear to God, some of the worst movies ever. And when you when you look on this one in retrospect... <laughs> You're going to wish you thumbs this one up. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I I really do love the first one. It's just yeah. so goofy yes. and wild, and the fucking run over the clown scene and she reappears in the back seat will always be one. Yeah, one no, of my the first one's scenes. a certified hood classic. <laughs> I guess. Are we a hood show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got to bring back themes soon. Remember we were doing themes for a while, and you guys broke it up. Do with we ever, uh, do we not dressing in purple like I asked. Oh, like themes like that. Okay, yeah. yeah. Like we all wear like beanies. Next time we record, bring your get best wood shirt because we're going shirt? within the woods. <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> we'll see you next week. I hate, I hate you. <laughs> we will see. You next Wait, week. we didn't say what we're doing next week. What are we? Well, doing? You we are doing time? cowboys versus dinosaurs next cowboys week. Cowboys versus dinosaurs. We will see you next week for for that. <laughs> yeah, for you that. like cowboys? Like dinosaurs? Oh, I'm so close to throwing this at the camera. <laughs>